Welcome to the RAX conversion USB installation video. I'm going to show you how to install the RAX conversion files to the USB sticks and how it should look like. First of all, please use Google Chrome as your web browser. It will work with other web browsers too, but we have seen some problems when people are using Explorer, for example, getting some strange cookies when they come in to the, the web pages uh, like in on mega or uh, fire upload or, or pirate bay be sure that you get the whole file downloaded this download could take a few hours depending on how fast internet internet connection you have so be patient and double check the size you are downloading okay 2.3 gigabyte and check the end result also. Uh, when using Google Chrome, when I press here, it's gonna download and you're gonna see it here, okay? It could take a couple of hours. After the download, you're gonna have a file. The first USB stick is called install one. I recommend to use WinRAR as a tool to extract the files. You can use WinZip too, but remember that the icons could look a little bit different. Here is a Win, the WinRAR file. You can see we're using WinRAR. I'm gonna double click on it, and then you get an extraction view. And here you see the files that is gonna go on to the USB stick. And to make it's very safe and secure. I'm going to highlight all of them, extract two, and please use a USB stick that you formatted with nothing else on it. Okay, I'm going to just choose the my USB stick and press OK. Of course, I already did this for this video, so I'm not going to overwrite it, so I just put cancel. Here is the USB stick, and this is how it should look like. And as I said before, if you're using WinZip or another extraction program, the icon could be different. So here you're going to have two larger files. One is called SWDL, and another one is SWDLFO. Then you have also this small file. It's just a information file. And what it is so it's an install of the version number 14053 and there is no maps on this stick at all then you have an update uh, folder and that's uh, needed because some shice modified modified machines really bad ones uh, we are adding this so you can overwrite the converted machine with with the, the rack software then it's very important that this token folder contains the token for your car. Here I already have the token file, so it should be there from the start. So when you install, install this USB stick, uh, if you don't have this token inside uh, the, the, with the WIN number, it will ask for it and just abort the uh, installation. It's not, no problem with it, it's just if you don't uh, forgot to do it, just add it to the USB stick one. Okay. So, so for the USB stick number two, the second file uh, is always a little bit larger. As you see here is 2.9 gigabyte. And remember that, as I said before, if your internet connection is slow, it could take a while. Same thing here, I download. When it's downloaded, I double check the size of the file I got. Here you have the file. It's, it's pretty large, it's three gigabytes. Still using WinRAR, the icon look like this. If you're using WinZip, it could be different. Double click. And here, there is a little bit of different Okay, you only have a big file, and the big file, it's just one file more or less. The other one is just the information file that says install maps, so we really know what's, what you have on the stick. 
Uh, same thing here, I highlight them, extract to, I put my uh, USB stick and of course it will ask to do the same thing because I already prepared this. It is how it's going to look on the USB stick number two. Then you finished. After this you're going to install USB stick number one. After that is finished you just go with USB stick number two.